be a part of that. You just punched it. Yeah. Wow. You know, you've had to do a lot this weekend, and you're a true freshman. What kind of expectations did you put on yourself? Um, I just knew I just wanted to qualify in advance, and everything we've worked for is definitely for this moment. And when I committed to Georgia, I knew I wanted to be a part of something historic, so here we are. Can you tell me a little bit about the training this season and, and how you've managed to run such fast times? Um, a lot of it is just trusting our coach and trusting whatever she tells us is what's best for us. So nothing was uh, not a part of our plan. Going into today, uh, you know, there's a split final. Um, what were your thoughts? You weren't you weren't in the final Sydney. You were Kendall. <laughs> is that what you wanted? Or absolutely. Um, between all the competition, I knew that whoever I'd be placed with would be a great race. Um, I just wanted to score. Um, whether it was with Kendall, uh, Sydney, uh, Sharika, anybody, I was ready, and our plan didn't change. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the, the start of that 400? Because I, I think you were the first, the fastest at the start. Um, I just got out. It wasn't anything out of the usual. Come through the 200 fast and finish strong. How did you feel when Kendall was able to get on the inside? Um, I just tried to focus on myself and stick to the race plan. Yeah. I mean, is, is it hard at that point to figure out a way to... No, no. Stick to the race plan always. No matter what the scenario was, stick to the plan. Excited about how much progress you made this year? I am, I am, and I'm more excited that it's indoor and I've made so many huge marks. Uh, me and my coach, we made a, a goal list at the start of the season, and I've well surpassed my goal list. I never expected to be running time too fast. With so much success and so many champions on the roster, how much has that pushed you or encouraged you to, uh, to, to Like I your... said, when I committed here, I knew I wanted to be part of something great, so surrounded myself with greatness to become it. Did you think you get an NCAA championship your first year as far as the team? Uh, I anticipated it. I wished and prayed for it, and we're here. <laughs> you said you surpassed your goal times. Well, what were the original indoor goal times? <laughs> so, my 200, I said 23 flat. <laughs> I've run under 23 on all my 200s. Um, the 400, I was like, oh, 51. Something close to 51. Yeah, I ran 50 point twice, <laughs> so uh, I'm excited. I mean, coming out of high school, outdoors, you ran under 51 once. No, maybe? I've never run under 51. Run, oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think you can do outdoors now? Outdoors, my mind won't even take me there, but I'm sure when coach sits me down again for another uh, goal sheet, we'll come up with something. And is 400 your favorite? <laughs> um, the 400 and the 200 have the pros and cons. Uh, I like the 400, it's definitely my bread and butter, but the 200 is a nice, like, it's more fun for me. Is it easier? I mean, does it hurt less? <laughs> uh, I don't know, they hurt in different ways. Yeah, in different ways. You had to run the two finals pretty close together. What do you do to get yourself back up after the four and turn that Lots and lots of recovery with the help from my amazing training staff back there. Coach in my ear letting me know you're ready for this. Just getting mentally and physically prepared. Well, congratulations. Great job. Thank you. Thank you.